Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at this equation. Again, this is an equation in the time domain. They're asking us to solve for the voltage as a function of time when we have this input right here to the circuit. And what we probably want to do is first convert it into the frequency domain or the phasor domain, solve for the voltage in the phasor domain, and then reconvert back into the frequency domain, or I should say into the time domain. Okay, so here we have 2 times dv dt, so this can be written as 2 times v, and since it's a derivative, we then multiply this times, uh, that would be j times omega. Here we have plus 5 times v, and here since we have an integral, that would be plus 10 divided by j times omega is equal to, and let's convert this into the frequency domain that would be the magnitude and the phase angle of minus 30 degrees. Then let's see here, they do give us the omega, we know since the angle of frequency omega is equal to 5, we can go ahead and plug that in here, so 5 times 2 that gives us uh, 10 V times J, and here that would be plus 5 V, here we know that omega is 5, so 10 divided by 5 is 2, that gives us plus 2 divided by j, and then here we get 50 in the phase angle of a minus 30 degrees. Then we realize we have an 1 over j in here, so we can say since 1 over j is equal to negative j, we can then replace this by negative j, so we have j times 10 volts, plus 5 volts minus, that would be J times 2 is equal to 50 and a phase angle of minus 30 degrees. So now we realize we have two imaginary parts, oop, I forgot my V here, can't forget my V, there should be a V there and there should be a V there, so I forgot my V there. So now I have two imaginary parts and a real part so I can factor out a V and combine the imaginary parts, so V times we have 5 and a minus 2 and a plus 10, that would be plus j times 8, and that would be equal to 50 and a phase angle of minus 30 degrees. So now we can go ahead and turn this into the phasor domain. So the magnitude, let's see here, we have a magnitude is equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 8 squared. That's 64 plus 25, that would be 89, that would be the square root of 89, which is equal to, let's see here, 89, take the square root, that would be 9.43, 9.43, and as far as the phase angle, that would be equal to the inverse tangent of, that would be the um, imaginary part divided by the real part, 8 over 5, and so 8 divided by 5, take the inverse tangent, that would be 58 degrees. All right, now we can say that V times, that would be uh, a magnitude of 9.43 and a phase angle of 58 degrees is equal to 50 and a phase angle of minus 30 degrees. Now we're going to divide this by this, so V is equal to 50 and a phase angle of minus 30 degrees divided by 9.43 and a phase angle of 58 degrees, which is equal to, so now we take 50 divided by 9.43, that gives us 5.3 for the magnitude, and the phase angle of minus 30 minus a minus, a minus a 58 because the 50 is in the denominator, that would be minus 88 degrees, and now what we want to do is reconvert that back into the time domain, because this is in the phasor domain. So now we can say that V as a function of time is equal to the magnitude of 5.3 times the cosine, because we want to put it in this format, times the cosine of omega times T, but omega is known, that would be 5 times T, and the phase angle is going to be minus 88 degrees. And that here will be the voltage of that circuit, and that's how it's done.